Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's Grade 6, Unit 6, Lesson 6, Practice Problems Review. Instructions for a craft project say that the length of a piece of red ribbon should be 7 inches less than the length, less than the length of a piece of a blue ribbon. So how long is the red ribbon if the length of the blue ribbon is 10 inches? Well, the red ribbon needs to be 7 inches less than the blue. So if the blue is 10, 10 minus the 7 inches less is going to equal 3 inches. If the blue ribbon is 27 inches, 27 minus 7 is going to get us the 3 inches. And if the blue ribbon is x inches, x minus 7 is going to be, well, x minus 7 inches for the red ribbon. Now in B, how long is the blue ribbon if the red ribbon is 12 inches? Well, the blue ribbon has always been whatever the red ribbon plus 7 seems to be what our blue is. So if we take 12 and add 7 to that, we get our blue ribbon at 19 inches. Now, Tyler has three times as many books as May. How many books does May have if Tyler has 15 books? Well, Tyler has three times as many. So if we take 15 and divide it by 3, we get May at 5 books. If Tyler has 21, we could divide by 3 and get 7 books for May. If Tyler has x books, x divided by 3 is going to be what May has. And again, you could also write this x over 3 this way. Now, Tyler has 18 books. How many does May have? Well, 18 divided by 3 is going to be 6 books. Now, a bottle holds 24 ounces of water. It has x ounces of water in it. What does 24 minus x represent in this situation? And that quite simply is the amount of water that has been removed from the bottle. Now to write a question, how about how many ounces of water did Jada drink from the full bottle if there are x ounces left. Now write an equation in number 4 represented by this tape diagram that uses each of the following operations. We have 9, 9, 9, and 27. So for addition, one thing we could just write is well, I have those three nines. Nine plus nine plus nine equals 27. That can be my addition equation. Subtraction. Well, if I take, say, for example, 27 minus nine, what does that leave me with? Well, just the nine plus nine, or you could also have written that as 18. For multiplication, we have nine times three and that equals 27. And for division, well, we have 27 broken into three groups of nine, so we could do 27 divided by three equals nine.
Continuing on, select all the equations that describe each situation and then find the solution. In A, Han's house is 450 meters from school. Lin's house is 135 meters closer to school. How far is Lin's house from school? Our solutions here are going to be Z equals 450 minus 135 and Z plus 135 equals 450. And let's explain why those are. If Han's house is 450 meters from the school and Lin's house is 135 meters closer to school, how far is Lin's house from the school? If we were to take the 450 minus the 135, we'll get that distance of Z. Additionally, if we take that distance Z and add the 135 meters that Lin's house is closer, we would get to Han's house at 450 feet. Now, to solve, I'd simply subtract 135 from both sides here, or just complete this, right? Either way, we get Z equals 315. Tyler's playlist has 36 songs. Noah's playlist has one quarter or one fourth as many songs as Tyler's playlist. How many songs are on Noah's playlist? We're looking at taking the 36 and dividing by 4. We can also look at 4w equals 36. And if we take 36 and divide by 4, we simply get w equals 9. And that's how we'd be solving this side. We'd be dividing by 4 on both sides to get w equals 9. So 9 songs on Noah's playlist. You multiply that by 4 and you get to Tyler's playlist of 36. You had $50. You spent 10% of the money on clothes, 20% on games, and the rest on books. How much money was spent on books? Well, if we take our percentages... Our 10% and our 20%. That's 30% that you spent on clothes and games. The rest, total of 100 minus 30% spent, is 70%. So we're looking for 70% of the $50, which as a decimal would be 0 0.7 times 50. Well, this is 7 tenths times 50, and going back to our uh, multiplication here, if we were to take 50 times 7, 7 times 0, 7 times 5 is 350, and we're looking at 350 tenths, and so we have tenths, 0, 5, 3, it's 35 dollars. Now lastly, a trash bin has a capacity of 50 gallons. What percentage of its capacity is each amount? Show your reasoning. Well, we're looking here at 5 over 50, which, if I write that as a fraction over 100, I can multiply the bottom by 2. The top by 2 gives me 10 out of 100, which is 10%. Next, 30. Well, 30 out of 50, again, multiplying by 2 on top and bottom, is 60 over 100, which is 60%. Getting a little bit fuller, 45 out of 50. Multiply top and bottom by 2, you get 90 out of 100, so that's 90%. Now the interesting one, 100 out of 50, still multiply by 2 on top and bottom, you get 200 over 100, which is 200%. That's it for this grade 6 practice problems review. Good luck.